quads. We're gonna form our, over our quads and you see me, I am in actually low plank position right here. I'm foam rolling in the kitchen, please. In the kitchen, where's my black charger? Go, go guys, we are rolling. I have a spiky foam roller. This thing damn dig into my legs, but what can you do? Good, now I'm gonna go sideways. So this one is difficult. If you have a spiky foam roller like me, you might wanna to bring one leg over the other, so you're gonna have a little bit of less tension. Once you're gonna place that leg on top of this one, you're gonna have less tension. But if you're gonna place it like this, this is gonna be brutal. Ugh. So if I would have a flat foam roller, I would just roll it different way, but right now this one digs in so bad. And I have to tell you, you're gonna condition yourself to this, but before you do it, you're gonna have some damn bruises here, because that's what happened to my legs. So let's do the other one. Good job, Tyson. You grabbed the heavy foam roller too. You got, you got the really different, the, the heavy one here. This one is like a pipe. So we're gonna roll sideways. We're gonna get warmed up on the sideways. Yes. And we're gonna get the calves going, <laughs> right? There you go, get the calves going, roll it, roll it, dig in. Now, the forgotten part I need my charger assistant. Charger for the bone, please. Assistant, instead of bringing the charger, is eating veggie straws. All right? Should we fire this assistant? Or should yes. we give her a chance to fire. Really get better? Fire. Listen up. Inner ties. We gotta roll the inner ties. A lot of people forget, people in general forget that this part of the legs gets really sore. Dicey scooch over. We gotta go. Dinner ties, dig in, peeps, because we gotta go with some crazy workout. Oh, assistant is here. Thanks, thanks very much. It was thanks very much. Okay, and then the other side. Look, Peak Freak family, you join our Peak Freak show. Do the workout with us and have fun. Oh God. Listen up, my legs will be like purple everywhere, like spots, everywhere. Anyway, we gotta hook this up, cause I gotta plug the phone. When you do a lot of consultations, talking to a lot of people, the phone dies. And we gotta go, who is with us? Who is gonna be working out with us? Listen up guys. Listen up, you gotta have a medicine ball today. So make sure you have one. Now, stretch strap. Stretch strap. I need, oh no, I will not stretch it. Oh, the little freaking stinker took my uh, stretch strap. And this is my favorite. This is mine. Give it back to no one. Give it back. Nope. Nope. See, everybody wants to stretch you. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys coming from? I do the same thing. Where are you guys coming from? Are you coming from U.S. or are you coming from outside U.S.? We have international friends. Okay, so, so write it down. United States or United States of America? Or write it down where you're coming from. Leg is straight. Look, this is how the warm up will go today. I wanted to teach you guys a little bit different way of stretching yourself with the stretch strap. We're gonna hold this, toes are down, heel is up. Pull it on your toes gently. Now we're gonna go down and up. Here is the thing, the inner thighs that we're gonna stretch. If you're gonna extend the other legs, you're gonna have a better stretch right here. So we're gonna go up, 
and down slowly with your right arm, right leg. Breathe out. There you go. We're going to stretch it. Good job, everybody. And now we're going to go across. So across. Now we're going to switch left hand, right strap, right side, right leg, right arm on the floor. And we're going to go across. Sometimes you hear that click with your lower body. It's okay. Let it drop. I want to click. Oh, you want that click? Yeah. Mine clicked. I felt I, I, it. I felt ah. a small little click today. Good adjustment, guys, right here. Make sure that you're keeping that shoulders, all, that right shoulder on the floor. Now look what we're gonna do. We're gonna go sideways. We're gonna kick it right here. Bring that heel into the glute to stretch the quad, and then we're gonna kick it forward. So quad hip flexors, boom. Whoa, what's that? I got stuck with Tyson leg. Kick it, bring it over, hold it for two, three seconds. Yes, it takes time to get stretched out. Now guys, we're gonna do a, a glute stretch right here and release. So now with the glute stretch, a lot of times when you guys are gonna pull like this, you're gonna rotate your foot. You don't want that, you want the entire piece come in here so you can stretch your glute. So do a few times, please do a few times. And now I wanna see you guys, you guys are coming up and making comments. I wanna see who is with us, nice. All right, left leg. Tyson is already set. Left leg. There's left leg. You finished the hamstring. Toe is down. Top that heel, come right back up. Listen, this tool is so helpful. This tool is super helpful. Top it, come right back up. Breathe out. Deep breath in and exhale. Oh yeah. Nice work, everybody. You can keep that leg straight or bent, however you feel like. Usually the range of motion will be increased if you're gonna keep that leg bent. You're gonna bring that leg higher, right? I hear a bag. I think I, there is some kind of a mouse that is trying to dig into some veggie straws. Did you hear that too? So like that. Mouse, we are working out. We are not eating right now. Shut down. Let's go. Over here. I want to see you with us. Let's go, let's go. We are almost there. I'm going to come across. Oh, there's a sucker just came in. The bolt sucker. Well, you oh. afraid to work out. Ugh. Good, and down, come across, make sure that your left arm, shoulder on the floor. Yes. And last one, no, we got a two, still, we got to bring it over your shoulder, kick it forward. Ugh. I'm trying to kick you. I'm trying to reach to you. Yeah. Kick it forward. So I'm supposed to be teaching this live boot camp class, but I got caught up in a meeting about the project, a debrief meeting about the project, and I come in and see this going on. This. <laughs> this a, is this is my boot camp class. I don't think so. Enough of this ballet, yoga, Pilates, whatever, Russian strip show, whatever the fuck is going on here. This is done. I'm sure the pole was ready to come out. We're gonna do a real workout now. Enough of that. I don't know. Yeah! I don't know what these people are doing down there on the floor, but we're going to take this shit over right now. Oh, God. This is just overboard. This is overboard. All right. Let's, you're already warmed up. You're already stretched. So we don't need to do any of that. And Facebook, you're down here. Because you are going to be up and down on the floor. You should have your medicine ball with you. I don't care what kind of medicine ball it is. It doesn't matter if it's a dent. You're going to duck down here with a little midget boy. I don't care if it's a dent weight, bouncing, if you have a gallon of water, whatever. There are going to be slams. If you can't slam, you just... Simulate a slam, meaning you would just go here and not slam. So you'll figure it out as we go. I'll be moving the camera as needed because sometimes we're going to be standing up, sometimes we're going to be down on the floor. So 
Let's get rolling. You're already warmed up. Tighten up your bootstraps and get ready to roll. Okay. All right, so every round is going to have three segments, three exercises. One of them is going to be stuck down on the floor. Every exercise does two reps followed by two push ups. I'll walk you through this first round real quick, and then you'll see exactly how it goes, and it's going to be easy. It's all going to make sense. Every round is going to start at the bottom. Make sure you're getting hydrated with your Herbalife pre workout concoction mixed with Trulane. That's what this is. About six or seven different things in here, concoction, and that's why I'm bouncing around like I'm high on coke. I've actually never done any coke. I've actually never done any drug in my life. Yay! I can't say the same for that Russian lady. With the pickles. Pickles and cocaine and shit. Are you asleep? All right, so pay attention. Snap out of it. Enough of this nonsense and babbling. Let's get ready to roll. So let's drop on the floor. Our first exercise is just shoulder taps, right? You're going to push up with this new shoulder taps. But every exercise, you do two reps of the exercise and then two push-ups. So that means we're going to do a shit ton of push-ups here today. So we're starting. Will you creep it up behind me for? Both of you. You both, <laughs> both creeping up on me? All right. Let's roll. So two shoulder taps, two push-ups. So every round, the first exercise is going to be in the push-up position. So you have to do your exercise in the push-up position. That's two and two push-ups. One. Let's actually make it two per arm, because that's the way it should be. That would even out the timing a little bit. And then two push-ups. So two shoulder taps per side. We'll call it four shoulder taps, so it's easy. Four and two push. You just go at your own pace. And guess how much time we're going to do this for? For however the hell long I want to do it. That's for how long. There's no damn clock. There's no timer. The clock and timer is in my head. And my brain is calibrated a little differently from the fucking planet that I'm from. To put, I don't know. It hasn't been discovered yet. <laughs> I was just dropped off here. They didn't want me anymore. Wait. And at times. That's the first set just to get rolling. Now you're going to have a slam. So I'm going to bring this up. A medicine ball. Two slams. And then two push-ups. You can oh, have a big have ball, bouncy? small ball, whatever. Can I have a bouncy? You need a damn ball. Any kind of ball. It doesn't matter. I'm going to grab a... Okay, good. Whatever, whatever. So now we're going to go two slams... Two push-ups. So in order to do two push-ups, you have to squat thrust down there. So right here, two slams. One, two, right down. Move your damn ball anyway. However you need to figure it out. One, maybe you can do the push-ups with your feet apart because you can do a squat thrust. For the one time, I'll allow you to do push-ups with your feet apart so you can keep the ball right here. Drop down to the push-up position. Are we doing the crawl? So you're basically doing the crawl out. Otherwise, you're going to do a squat thrust. Take your pick. Or you could do... Just put it aside and do a squat thrust as long as you're going to scoop it right up as you come up and not bullshit on the transition. However it works for you. I don't care how the hell you get down there. Hit your two slams. I like the squat thrust better. The cross take too long. And just scoop it up from your side. Two slams. Two push up. Hop in, scoop up your damn ball, bash it into the freaking earth. I want to see chunks of concrete flying around the ground in the air from you smashing the ball on the floor. Two slams. Two push up. This workout's gonna suck. Oh, it sucks already. Alright, yeah. time. See, that's the secret to not doing a timer. I can just stop the set whenever the hell I want to. Whenever that shit gets too hard. Oh. Alright, so now it's a jack press with the medicine ball. Two jack press up and then two push ups. So you're gonna be squat thrusting your ass up and down all day. So do two jack press up. Check it out. I'll walk you through this first one. And don't worry, we're gonna repeat each one of these. So two jack press up and push the ball up while your feet go apart. Then drop down for your two push ups. This time, you're going to do two jacks just holding the ball up for two. So one set, you're pressing it up for two. The next set, you're just holding it up for two. And back for two push-ups. We got that? Yes. So it's two jack press up. Right here. Two push-up. Two jack holding up, not pressing. I'm cut off on Facebook, but Instagram sees me. And then two push-ups. 
If you can squat to yourself, step up. Don't even care how the hell you get up and down as long as you're getting up and down for your push-ups. It doesn't have to be a squat. If you step back, whatever flow works for you, don't give a damn. How many push-ups do you think you've done? Oh my god, I don't know. Twelve? <laughs> Keep count. And time! So technically that's around. Time. That's around. We're just getting started. Just getting warmed up. I'm going to adjust this one of these face of cameras so that you can see in the face. So it's not looking at my crotch. There's other face of the cameras looking at my tits. I like my tits. They turn you on. So that's how every round's gonna go. Three exercises, two reps of the exercise, two push-ups, and a three-set round. We have several rounds, so we don't that first round we don't need to repeat. We're gonna go through all the rounds just once and then we'll see, we'll combine some things together to make it a, a longer extended round at the end. So we're just going through each group one time so it's not just overkill because every round you're doing so much up and down there's no need to have to repeat the same exact round over and over again because they're going to be similar components of getting up and down for your two push-ups because you do two finger push-ups all day. When are we going to do abs? <laughs> Why do you want abs you sucker? Because I like them. Okay, because you know when abs come it means it's end of workout. How are we going to do abs in the beginning? Actually we're going to do abs at the end of the hour. But it's gonna be a two-hour workout. So you're gonna think we're done. We're just gonna have another, a whole another hour to go because you're being a sucker. <laughs> All right. So this round is starting knee tucks, push-ups. So every round is starting the push-up. You don't come up and down. You stay down on the floor. I'll angle down to crotch position. <laughs> There's crotch position, tits position, and eye position. <laughs> what? Funny. Let's go. Knee tuck, this one's just gonna be two because knee tucks are a little slower, and then two push ups. Bang them out. Right, left on the knee tuck, two push, and then left, right, just to even it out. It really doesn't make a damn difference which knee goes first, but we are sick in the head and we want perfection. So we're gonna go right, left, and then left, right, just to make sure we are symmetrical and even. It's the first. Set of every round stays down here for the push-up. You see how the exercise is in the push-up position. So it's double layers of suckery because you don't get to stand up in between. And this shit sucks already. You're going to do a shit ton of push-ups today. I'll tell you that. So the first exercise is always down in the push-up position. The second one is always a slam. There's going to be a twist slam. Two twist slams. Just one each side. Grab your ball. So it's two slams, two twist slams. Right away, two push-ups. If you better not smash it on my dome. I was, I was about to. You both, you both were about to smash me. Squish my freaking head like a grape. Can't do much more damage than they're even done with headshots. Headshots. Bam. Bam. And drop down for your two push-ups. What the fuck? Yeah, the ball. No, the ball didn't go over. The ball didn't throw itself at me. Uh, 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 someone had to throw it. Smash it. Drop down. Two push. Alternate which side you go to first. On your two twist slams. So it always ends up on a different side. Whoa. Second exercise of every round always has ball slam. If you don't have anything to slam, just grab something heavy and low. Just check it out, just do a twist and a chop. And then drop it and do your two push-ups. How many push-ups do you think we've done? Oh my god, 14! Go plot your freaking abacus and figure it out. I don't know. It's an old ancient kind of calculator, like these beads that we use to calculate. Like the one in the soul, then? Remember the soul? He was counting beads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What? It's little beads. 
Right back down for your two pushes. Get a little tempo, little flow, little rhythm, little pace. Bang it out. Ha. And time. We're going to the jack press. Who set these lights up? They're facing each other. You have a light lighting up a light. All right, jack press out. So don't forget, one time you're doing press out, the next time you get to the jacks, you're doing hold out. So look, I'll go from the side. One, two, hit my two push ups. Oh, I have a heavier ball than you. And then hold out for one, two, and then two push ups. Yeah, just watch. You're going to burn lots of calories by just watching me do the work. Just have a seat. You're the type of person that puts a treadmill on, just watch it run for three miles. And say, hey, I just did three miles on a treadmill. Yeah. No, you watch a treadmill run for three miles, not yourself. Yeah. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Jack press out. <laughs> and then hold out for the next one. For two jacks. And press for two. Two push. Is it even visible? Hold for two, huh? Of course, and then maybe the other one hurt from protecting that one, maybe the other one. Yeah, now it's back to the original one. It's better, but I don't feel it. We have a coming up on Saturday. It's going to put braces on. I need to go buy a second brace on, and then you brace up all the right? Next round, we're getting right back to first set down in the push up position. So it's going to be exercise in the push up position for two reps. Or this one's actually only one rep, it's the plank walk. So you start in the push up position, walk down to the elbows, back up to the push up position, hit your two push ups. So plank walk to two push ups. Then we have medicine ball slam. It's going to be straight arm slam. Sorry, jump slam, jump slam for two. Two jump slams, two push ups. And the third exercise is jack, split jack, press up. So feet go front to back while you're pressing the ball up and down. And again, alternating one time pressing it, next time holding it. Got it? All right, this Facebook is on my nose and my honker, looking up my nose. Instagram is a full body because it's long. And this one, you, you're the tip camera. Uh, 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 no. Uh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hydrate. Get ready. Next round is starting. Plank walk. One rep to two push ups. So the first set, you know, you're staying in the push up position, so it flipping sucks. I've got this whole fucking gym here. And you're going to be stuck up my ass. Yeah. Back it's, up. It's please, please, please step back. Arm, arm. A double arm resistance at all times. I have elbows that flare out. My elbows really flare out. Look, that's how I do my push-ups. I want to get a maximum chest activity. I want to work the pectoris majoralis. <laughs> what is that? Go! Plank walk. Oh. And two press. Down, down. Up, up. Two push-up. Alternate which arm you go first on the plank walk. Oh, so go right, left, right, left, two push up. Now go left, right, left, right, two push up. Right back to it. Dress out of the air. You need a haircut, Dice. I can introduce you to my barber, Mr. Clean. He'll hook you up. Professional haircut. Mr. Clean. Free of charge. <laughs> He's gotta tip him. <laughs> Damn, those suck. Time! Right to your, know why, Mr. Clean. Right to your slam. He looks like him. Two jump slams. 
Two push-ups, suck it up. He was on the commercial. Right? Shush! A wide out. We're training. Yeah. We're taking this very serious. <laughs> Two jump slams. Yeah. Ugh. Jump, slam, jump, slam. Two push-ups. Tricep push up for me. Two jump slam. Get down there. For two push. You're getting dangerously close with your slam there. Jump slam. Jump slam. Down there. Bang it out for two. Ha! Shit. Ha! We're about to turn this into a freak family game of dodgeball. There's a movie called Dodgeball. It's like Step Brothers ish, Anchor Man ish, and that type of comedy. Oh, this one. Oh, yes. We have it, Dodgeball. It's a lot of the same characters, the same actors, too. Who wants to play? It is a long day. We're having a movie. No. We need to read movies. and walk. Watch that. We skipped reading time. Right? Right? I beg yes, we skipped reading time yesterday. So today we have reading time and walking time. Reading time and walking time. Which one do you schedule today? Jump slams, two push up. Time! Split jack, press up. Split jack, press up. So one time, you press the ball, next time you hold the ball. So I'll do it from the side. Feet go front to back. One, two, drop down for your push ups for two. <laughs> This time, split jacks for two. One, two. So one time, I'm pressing up and down. Next, yeah, just keep watching the set, you two. Excellent work. Excellent work. Two pushes. Scoop your ball all the way up. Right to the press. That's how you get hurt. You move stuff with your legs like that. You'll get hurt. That's the worst way to do it. Like move something with your leg, even like that, like something heavy. Like say you had to play on the floor, you were sliding. Like, see, puts all this pressure right there. Pops. It's like a common way of getting it. Simple little moments. Split jacks, guys. Hold it up. So one time for pressing. Where's that other one? The little one. Oh, uh, I don't know. I saw her in the red room. She had like an eagle Midget. on her face. Midgey! And then she just disappeared. Midgey, ah. Midgey, we're waiting for you. Waiting? We're almost done. She took this straws and she took off. Two split jack, press up, two push ups, suck it up. Ow. Let's go a few more. Press it out, push it out, thrust it out, push it out, thrust it in, hold it up. Bounce it out. Drop it down. She's upstairs. I hear her footsteps. Ha! Ha! And time! All right. Shake it out. New round coming up. Delayed. This round has plank jacks at the bottom. So you're going to hold the push-up position for two plank jacks, then two push-ups. That's first exercise. Next one is a straight slam. So your body stays totally straight. You slam it down, totally stiff in your hips. Then you go down, pick it up. So straight arm, straight leg slam. Follow through without following through with your body. Follow through with your arms. And slam the ball to the ground. So you hit two straight arm slams and two push ups. And then your press is split jack with the feet, pressing out instead of up. And you know the first set's going to be pressing out. The second rep will be holding out. Shake it, stretch it, stretch your shoulders, chest, quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, fucking earlobes, pinky toes, whatever the hell you got to stretch to get ready for the next round. You know the first round is going to be staying in the bottom position because you're holding that first exercise, get done in the push-up position, make those push-ups even harder. So stretch it out. If you haven't noticed we're doing a shit ton of push-ups, it's because we are getting regularly conditioned this entire month for the March 6th. 24-hour push-up challenge for charity. We're going to donate 
money to the Big Brothers Big Sisters here in the local chapter, Orange County, California, to the Big Brothers Big Sisters Foundation. It's going to be 24 hours of push-ups. We will be staying awake for 24 straight hours doing push-ups, getting as many reps as we can in, in that time, taking donations and sponsorships for the event so we can donate to the Big Brothers Big Sisters. That is March 6th, starting Saturday, March 6th, from 12 noon Saturday all the way to 12 noon Sunday, 24 hours of mother freaking push-ups. Do you know there's 1,440 minutes in a day? So if you just did one push-up a minute for 24 hours, you would do 1,440 push-ups in a day. We're gonna get at least 10 times that. That's what the goal is, at Woo! least. And these are real push-ups, not some half-assed. All right, let's get set for this round. We got plank jacks. Mikey Mike, what's up? Success from books, yes. These kids are little freaks. Are we Trying to catch up on the comments there. Catch up, catch up. All right, let's do it, plank jacks. I'm gonna take, put you down to the crotch cam, from the nose hair cam to the crotch cam. No more nose hairs for you, suckers. Just for this exercise, so it's two plank jacks, Push up position, feet jump apart, together for two. While they're together, you do your two push ups. Apart, together, apart, together, two push. Shh, shh. Jack, jack, push, push, pop, pop, ha, ha. What's a press up? It's people's way of saying push up and they want to sound cool or sound different. We're going to do press ups. They're push ups, mother sucker. <laughs> Press-ups. Press-ups. Like, come on now. I understand we call uh, we call it a squat thrust, but that's because there are different variations. Their press-up is literally a push-up. Nothing different. Really? We're gonna do press-ups. It's just when they try to sound like different or cool, like they invented it. So they can say, I invented the press-up. Oh yeah, what is it? It's a push-up, dumbass. Alright. We're gonna come back up to the nose hair cam. Nose hair cam for slams. Bite us. This is so you're on straight arm, straight leg slams. You're just here. Look. Boom! And then I go get it. So you don't follow through on the slam. So you get a lot more lats, core, tries, ripping it down. After two, hit your two push-ups. Oh. Ha! You, wait, you catch it? Boom. If it hits oh, your hands, look. Your hand. So if it bounces, I can do it. That can go right to the next one. The whole goal is to go straight. If it's dead weight, you're going to have to go down and get it have a ball, you just do this, straight body, and just go boom, boom, without letting that momentum pull your upper body forward, without bending at the waist, hit your two slams, and your two push-ups, bam, boom, hit two push, Watch the whole time. I wasn't watching. I was watching. And then taking a shot. 
Okay. And then hold straight out for the next one. This shit is hard. Two reps. Two push up. Now two presses for a split jacks. So my feet go front to back, pressing the ball front to back. Right down for my two pushes. Now I'm going to hold it out for two. Ha! Oh, my shot. Sweat. You should be out of breath. Yeah. Flank jacks. Hydrate, stretch, recover. This one's gonna be mountain climbers as your first exercise. So four mountain climbers, two each leg, two push-ups. Then you're gonna do kneeling slams. You're right on your knees. Slam twice. Put it aside. Two push-ups. Not push-ups on your knees, suckers. Regular full push-ups. You're kneeling for the slam, but not for the push-up. Kneeling push-ups are a waste of time and energy and effort. So push-ups on your knees. Years ago, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, we used to allow people to do push-ups on their knees. There'd be women and men who would do push-ups on their knees literally for like 12 months, 18 months, two years. And after two years of doing push-ups on their knees, they could still do a maximum of zero full push-ups. So we came to the conclusion that push-ups on your knees were a waste of time. They weren't building the muscles. They weren't building up the core strength the way it should be. So there's millions of other ways to modify the push-up to get better at push-ups. You just have to hold a plank. That'll do it. Do an elevated off a bench or a chair, a couch. Or just go down a couple inches so you get strong enough. Put your feet wider and only go down a couple inches. Millions of ways to make it happen without having to go on your freaking knees. And then our slam, our slam some knees, and then our jack is two regular jack press, two split jack press. Let's keep all things back and forth, running through the different holds. All right, shake that chest out, shoulders out, stretch the triceps. And your triceps are so tight, all I have to do is put this here behind my head. And push my head back, and it gets like a stretch oh, in my tricep. Yeah. You getting it? Ah! Oh. Oh. oh yeah! Oh, All right, let's do it. So it's mountain climbers, four mountain climbers. That's two each side, and then two push-ups. Let's roll! Oh. We are rolling! Oh. I do strain mountain climbers. <laughs> 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 I can't imagine why my knees are fucked look. up. This is how he acts during the project. That feel, no, it's not. Let's go. Four mountain climbers. One, two, two three, three, four. four. One, two push ups. Two. Count it then, sucker. You're going to count. Count. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two push ups. One, two. Four climbers. Two each leg. Two, two up. More. Work through it. One, two, hurry, hard. Ha, ha, hold, ho, hurry, four. Ha, ha, all right, enough of that shit. Yeah. Enough of that bullshit. Yes. On your feet, or no, on your knees. My bad. Yes. Kneeling. <laughs> shit, I got all the way up there for nothing. That was a waste of like 0.0000% of energy calories. <laughs> Kneeling slams. Get on your knees, suckers. 
haven't seen it. You just gotta twist side to side. Smash it down. Boom! Get in a rhythm. Get in a rhythm. Don't slow down. Don't pace yourself. Just because it's kneeling doesn't mean you make it easy. slams, two push-ups. Oh, that sucks. Shoot. Don't worry, we got a very hard push-up round coming up this, yeah, after this round. This. So don't you worry. <laughs> two slams, knees off the ground, two push-up. Two slam, ha! I was like, why are we doing slams for someone? Two push. Why didn't you say You weren't wondering until after I said it, because you wanted to set something. How are you going to see them doing the wrong no, set like and not speak up? Afraid? Scared? <laughs> speak up, people. No matter who it is, have the courage to speak up against evil. <laughs> speak up against the wrongdoers. Even speak up against your mama and daddy if they're doing something that ain't the way it's supposed to be. Okay. All right, enough of that shit. Up on your feet. All right, all we're doing is pressing up, but the feet are going two times here, two times split. All presses up, no holds. Excellent. So literally two jack press up, two push-ups. Still push-ups, don't forget. Two jack press out, we're going through them all, just the press. Two push-ups. Two split jack up. Two push up. Two split jack out. Two push up. Shit. We're going to go through that full rotation one more time. That's four more sets. Two jack press up. Two push. Two jack press out. Two push. Split jack up. Two push. Two split jack out. Time, time, time. Because this next round is going to be, after you take a break, is going to be all the push up exercises rotating through the back to back. So all the exercises in the down position. So that means it's going to be shoulder tap. Push up. Knee tuck. Push up. Plank walk. Push up. Plank jack. Push up. Mountain climber. Push up. That's the round. We're going to run through that two times at least. So that's going to be a lot on the upper body. Stretch the shoulders out before we do it. So now we're doing all the push up exercise stuff in a row in a set. All the slam stuff in a row without push ups. And all the Jack press stuff in a row without the push-ups. So this push-up round is going to get super amount of push-ups, but rounds groups two and three have no push-ups this round. Got it? You got all that? You think you understand what all that means? I don't care if you missed half of it. You still should pick up on it. I explained it. Explain the first round, even though you weren't here. Just by hearing what second and third rounds were, explain what the first round is. We're just doing the ones on the, like, in the plank position. So we'll remember the order. You got it. Uh, See how you just saw round, heard rounds two and three. It wasn't even here when I explained round one. We've never done this workout before. We'll never do it again because it's always a different workout. But just from him hearing how rounds two and three went, he figured out how round one went. No, no, no. What were the five in a row in order? You see here? So easy. Come on. Think about from the beginning. Think what we did first. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Come on. yeah. Shoulder taps, knee tucks. Plank walk, plank jack, mountain climber. Gotta sharpen up that brain. This is brain training here. This is your math education here, your history education, your anatomy education on the breast cam, the crotch cam. Oh, we gotta go crotch cam because this is all downhill here. This has been downhill from the second I jumped on, but it's even more downhill now. This whole hour has gone downhill mentally. And then, wow, that's really, that's super crotch cam. That's like Gary Coleman crotch cam. Oh, who's Gary Coleman? Little 
the short guy in the 80s in different strokes to say, what you talking about, Willis? Who knows who Gary Coleman is? How do you not know who Gary Coleman is? You gotta get up on your 1980s TV. 1980s uh, TV. 20, 20. Let's was, go! He was three years old. I was four. You were already in college in the early 80s. What are you talking about? <laughs> no! Tap! Tap! Four taps! Two push-ups! Two knee tucks! Two push-ups! One plank walk! Two push-ups! Two plank jacks! Two push-ups! Four mountain climbers! Two push-ups! One more time through! Four shoulder taps! Two push-ups! Two knee tuck! Two push-ups! Suck it up! One plank walk! Oh yeah! Two push-ups! Two plank jacks! Two push-ups! Four climbers! Two push-ups! Time! Oh, that was a joke! Oh, it was so easy! I could have done five rounds of that shit! I was done! If we had to do one more, I would have fell on my face! Don't tell them that! Oh! Crotch cam! Get off of the Gary Coleman crotch cam! <laughs> Damn it, you freak. Gary Coleman's still alive. I don't think so. Okay, good. <laughs> it was like a grown up that was not, wasn't a midget. But like this tall, but not a midget. So Weird. Short. He like looked like a kid still. I don't know what it's called. He was funny. And his saying was, What you talking about, Willis? When his older brother, his older brother. It's a good show. Different strokes. I think all the kids in that show turned to be crackheads. And they were all, the, all 1980s kids TV stars all turned out to be crackheads. They became Why? homeless and crackheads. I don't know. I guess they did a lot of drugs in the 80s. That's how they grew up. I don't know. We learned something today. Alright. Where are we on? Uh, slams. Slam round! So you're going two regular slams. Boom! Boom! Two twist slams. Two jump slams. Two straight slam. Almost forgot straight slam. And two kneeling slam. Back up. We're going three rounds in this one. This is easy. Two regular slam. Two jump slam. Ah, oh, that's going to be twist. Two twist slam. Whatever. Two straight slam. Ha. Two kneeling slam. Right back to your feet. See if I can get the order right this time. Two regular slam. Two twist slam. Ha. Two jump slam! Two straight slam! Oh, that almost hit me in the nuts. <laughs> almost got a clean nut shot, because look, it gets distorted. This one. A little bit. Trio slam. Time! So next, after I babble for a little bit, see, the key here is to come up here to the camera to teach you some deep philosophical question, uh, lessons about 80s cocaine child actors and about the breast cams and all that nose hairs and stuff like that. So it can take away from the fact that I'm about to pass the hell out. So it's like I'm really just teaching you, but it's giving me a break. Just don't give away that secret to anyone. All right. Thinking outside the room. Now we are going with, I don't want to throw some punches. Huh? Fight? I don't know. <laughs> Start throwing some punches. I don't even know why. We are on the jack press round. We're gonna do this a shit ton of ways. We're gonna do press up, press out, split jack press up, split jack press out, but also hold up, hold out, split hold, split hold out. All of those, all eight variations, no push ups. So we're just gonna be jacking off. Jacking off. <laughs> what, you weirdo? What? A bunch of jacks, we're jacking off. Let's go. This round. So when you're doing your cooking later and you want to tenderize the the the, 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 the turkey patties, you can just make sure you're beating the meat. Beat the meat. Beat the meat. Alright, pay attention. This is strange. Pickles and cocaine. The whole pickle situation. Alright, pay attention. We're gonna do the press. Just follow along. <laughs> two, I'll call one while we're doing the two another. So we'll start with two press up. Two press up, two press out. Two hold up, two hold out.
Split jack up, press up. Split jack, press out. Split jack, hold up. Split jack, hold out. You got him? Show me the order, tell me the order. Go in three, two, one, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me. So you got it, you're not on camera, so I'll come back home, see me on camera, I want to see what you got. We're still going. I'm gonna follow him. Two up, two out. out. Without stopping. Hold up. Ah, hold out. Split jack, press up. Split jack, press out. Split jack, hold up. Split jack, hold out. He got it in one freaking shot. If you don't have it, you should be paying attention better. Pay attention. We're still going. Now you know the order. That was just to show you what it is. Now we're doing that for like a long time straight, like at least like 15 or 20 seconds. <laughs> Without stopping, you want a smooth transition to your feet. Coordination. Two jack press up, two jack press out. Two hold up, two hold out. Two split jack press up, two split jack press out. Two hold split jack up, two hold split jack out. Two press. Three times four, sucker. I said 15 seconds straight. That was not 15 seconds, Maggot. And I forgot what the fuck I was on. Just bounce. When it bounce, jack it off. Jack it out. Boom. Boom. Split jack, press up. Split jack, press out. Split jack, hold up. Split jack, hold out. Jack press, press up. Jack press, press out. Jack press, hold up. Jack press, hold out. Split jack, press up. Split jack, press out. Split jack, hold up. Split jack, hold out. All right, now that shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Coming up next is the. Oh my god. Oh my god. What kind of exercise is coming up next? Abs. Ab round. Look how exciting he is for abs. Cause he knows. He knows when the. When the crotch cam comes out late in the exercise in the workout, he knows that means we're on the floor for some flipping abs. Take your medicine ball. Oh. Or whatever you're holding, your bowling ball, your gallon of water, your, I don't know, satchel of cocaine, bag of money, a bag of cash. You should do a bag of cash workout. Only for cashers. Alright. Hold, hold the ball straight up in the air. For a lower crunch. Easy stuff. Go. How many push-ups do you think we did? 18. Oh my god. <laughs> Curl the knees to the chest. Tension on the abs the whole time. So your knees are actually tapping your elbows, your, th your forearms, triceps, whatever the hell. Whatever shaped body you have. If you're an odd shaped body, your knees are probably hitting your wrists. Or maybe your knees are hitting your armpits, you freaks. <laughs> Keep it tight. Tension on those abs the whole time. Time. All right, we're going upper crunch. So you're just going to tap the ball here, and you're going to sit all the way up, tap it to the floor. Down slow, tap overhead, tap to the floor. You're not slamming, you're just tapping it. You're not letting go of it. It's just to make sure you gain full range of motion on the sit-up. Your abs are tight this whole time. You can let them underneath be tight at the top. Constantly keep it tight. As you lower down, your abs are lowering you down. They're tightening you down here. Look, they're still tight. That's why I can hardly talk. Ha. Tap. Tap. You're going to control that ball the whole time. Ha. And try to bounce your dome off the floor like I just did. It just went like boom, boom, boom. Wait. The back of my head went like. When I dropped like a bone. <laughs> there must not be much going up on inside of there. Tap. Ha. Ah. All right. Enough of that. All right. You're going to hold the ball straight up while we do alternating single leg leg drops. The ball is going to stay up the whole time. Your arm should be pretty shot by now. Even holding this ball up in the air. Should suck. Both up. Hey, crotch cam, stop looking down my shorts, you freaks. Tap. Squeeze, press your lower back to the floor. Your head can be curled up, whatever. If your neck is straining, put your head on the floor. Just make sure your lower back does not arch off the freaking floor. Tap and squeeze. Next we're doing leg drops, right? 
Yeah. Sizzling drops. Wait, no, like, oh. not alternating, just like. No, like, like, let's Yeah, yeah. No, that would usually come before this, but I'm doing it today. Time! The next one's going to be footer kicks. Now we're going to do medicine ball press with flutter kicks. We are counting the presses. We are doing how many? 100. 100 presses while you flutter kicks. I don't care your speed of your flutter kicks. We're just going to be jacking out that press. Just jacking it off. Let's go. 100 presses. 100 strokes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. 1, 2, two 3, three four, 4, 5, five 6. six. Because it's the ball, it's just pumping, it's a press. One, two, three, four. And when your hips are ready to fall off your hips, <laughs> it makes you go a little faster. Is that even a thing? All right, freaks, we are done. Harry Knuckle. Fist bump. Fist bump. Jules Vic. Oh. It's called a. No. It's yes. called a fist bump. Harry Knuckle you. fist bump all around for all I the freaks on the, on the Facebooks, the MySpaces, the Tweeters, the Instagrams. <laughs> All that good stuff. The police is coming. So you just saw in this workout. Let me get this one up a little bit. You just saw in this workout how you don't need any space. You don't really need any equipment. The medicine ball, you could do anything. You could, you could hold a small child and do that workout. Oh God, just don't no. slam them. Just don't. Too hard. Too hard. So you can do this anywhere. Look, we don't need any space. You don't need any equipment. My entire body is worked. Yeah, yeah. My chest, my shoulders, my tries. Freaking abs, hips, glutes, quads, calves, cardio, core, conditioning, strength, anaerobic, aerobic, freaking pumped up, pumped up. I feel like I just lifted weights just by mixing those push-ups in. So it just shows you what you can get done if you just have a little discipline, a little structure, a little control, a little guidance, a little coaching, a little mentoring, a little motivation externally so eventually you can build up internal motivation. That's what you need because real mo motivation is bullshit. We're not here to give you motivation. We're here to guide you and coach you and lead you and teach you. That's what this is about. Anyone could do a push-up. You can go and find a push-up on YouTube and go do a push-up and some jumping jacks. We're here to show you the right way to do it, to keep you focused, do it in the right order. But more on top of that is to get your head right, get your mind right, because it goes in that order, your mind, your body, and then the rest of your life, your business, whatever else. If your mind and body is not right, you're not going to be... Uh, Firing all cylinders when it comes to your business, not firing all cylinders when it comes to your family. You'll be screwed up. You need, you need to be thinking mentally, not just, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and then financially. That's the way it goes. You can't have one without the others. You have to be knocking them all out. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Make sure you like and share this video. Tag your friends that can use some exercise, some guidance, some coaching, put them in here so they could do this workout. Anyone could do this from anywhere in the world. You can modify any one of these exercises. So just share this video, tag your friends, like it, comment below, let me know if you need help with anything. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. I'm sure little freak yes, show you are freaking awesome. has something he wants to tell you. No excuses! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. 
The funny thing is, he's going through a little microphone, but his voice is louder than the microphone, so you hear his voice out loud normally, then you even hear it through the megaphone, which just means you're a loud-ass mouth kid. Anyway, let me know if you need anything. You're fucking awesome. No excuses. No excuses. Well, this was loud.